I might buy 30 miles every Saturday to do this show. And this guy called me names. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. By the way, have you seen some of those bad boys at the new AMP? <laughs> now what are you cackling about, eggs? Is this my John? A million producers in the world, and they stick me in here with an egg. Shut his mic off. Seneca Castle. Hello. Oh, Neil. You used to be such a nice boy, and now you're so terrible. Yeah, but you can't shut it off. You can't shut it off. <sighs> I don't need this. I have offers from other stations. Batavia, Elmira, Fredonia. But instead, I stay here and entertain you grotesque, subhuman doodle bags. Unbelievable. Geneva, hello. Hello, is this Neil Rogers? What kind of phone are you on, sir? How's that again? Do you have a dial phone or what? No, I had to put it to the operator. Well let's, well, let's not get into that. Hey, I was listening to Joey Reynolds on WKBW last night. Somebody asked him. Did you hear what he's been saying about you? No, I don't listen anymore. He's a doddering old man. He claims he's only 40. Yeah, right. And Joey beat Truman, too. <laughs> oh, shut up, Egg. You're pathetic. And if you think he's bad now... Wait till he hatches. Oh, boy. Okay, when we come back, maybe the egg will come out of his shell. But I hope not. Little radio history there. <laughs> Seldom heard before, and uh, you heard it first on Zeta 4. 7.14 on a Friday morning, and our next caller is probably in Broward County disappeared. Hello, are you there? Wesley. I can't believe it. He held on. Frightening. Go ahead. Where's Lee? What? Where's Lee? Where's Lee? First complaint. How long have you been listening, sir? Four days. No, no, I mean, I mean this morning. <laughs> How long have you been listening? About ten minutes. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, we owe him an explanation, right? Right. What is the explanation? Lee's just not here anymore. This was not his bag. I don't blame him, you bloody faggot. <laughs> oh, that was good. I like that. Uh, that was my favorite call of the whole week. Whereas the week progresses, <laughs> you notice we're getting some good ones. Yeah. Okay, no, Lee actually got jealous when uh, David Cohen came in here yesterday is what it was, and he couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle the pressure. Okay, let's go to uh, Dade County. Hello. Good morning, Neil. Yes, sir. How you doing? Great. Uh, maybe you can clarify something for me. That's Scott throws his voice so well. You know, it's frightening. Uh, this guy, Stan. Stan who? Stan Majors. Oh, yeah. He keeps talking about this guy, Don Johnson. Who the hell is Don Johnson? I don't know. Never heard of him. Unbelievable. Yeah, you can say it again, sir. <laughs> you see the paper this morning? What paper? Um, the Herald. No, I don't, I don't read the Herald. It's right here, but I won't even touch it. Man, a sexual priest is living a living contradiction. A what? Man, a sexual priest. Yeah. He turned into a woman now. Great. He wants to be well, a priest. Well, the Lord works in mysterious ways, sir. <laughs> no way, Jose. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Please. Yeah, Jose became Juanita, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that it, sir? Well... Uh, could you play that? Uh, oh, here we uh, go. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Now th this is a textbook case it's for the, the audience. It's yep. the pattern. Yeah. Textbook case. Go, go ahead. Yeah. What is it? The one of, of Elvis with addiction. Everybody wants to be Elvis. Elvis impersonators. Oh yeah. yeah. That's in the other room. You think I'm going to go schlep all the way in the other room <laughs> to get that? We'll see what happens, sir. We'll uh, give it a shot. Okay, five five zero. Oh. 9490, if you can get through on this ridiculous phone system. Five, five, well, we don't want to bellyache about it too much, but it uh, sucks is the bottom line. 550-9490. Five, five, oh, and uh, Boca, of course, sitting there very silently. In fact, there's several little lines silent, but it would probably be a reason for that, right? What could that be? Well, we don't want to go into that again. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Okay, 17 past 7, and we'll go back to Dade County. Good morning. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, my 
God, good morning. First time I spoke to you on your new program. Aren't you lucky, huh? Oh, aren't I lucky? Mm -mm. How's everything? Good? Great. We're just uh, so thrilled in here you wouldn't believe it. (laughs) It's hard to hear you, you know. It's hard to hear on the phone, you mean? Uh, With you, yeah. I can hear you. Well, that's the idea. Oh, is that (laughs) it? Yeah, that way we can throw a few insults and nobody picks them up. (laughs) Let me ask you something. Yeah. Is that really Ron Harrison that gave the news today? What? Was that really Ron Harrison that gave the uh, sports earlier? No. Oh. oh, you mean Mr. Sports? Well, no. well I, you know, you said Ron had said what? No, Ron was just uh, hang, No, he he was just hanging around in here. You know, he had nothing to do. He's. It sounded terrible on the phone. He has scoured the newspaper. What sounded terrible? <laughs> His voice. It sounded like he had a sex change. He did. Oh, he did. He had. <laughs> yep. He Ron. had the big one. <laughs> Not anymore, though. <laughs> I, I don't know whether we should go back to the old format, but did you watch uh, Not Landing? Oh, I forgot all about it. No, I w- oh my actually, God. what happened, I went to bed early because I had all those phone calls. Every time I tried to take a nap yesterday, the phone kept ringing, oh, and I went good. to bed at 9 o'clock. Oh, my God. Well, what happened? They arrested the Abby. Really? Yeah. And then they finally, well, I won't go through the whole thing. Oh, look, here he comes that. Get his mic off. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Ignore him. But they finally decided, and it was, in fact, it was Gary that did, that he realized that uh, Olivia was thought her mother did it, and mm-hmm. naturally Abby thought Olivia did it. Yeah. And uh, Well, on that show, everybody does it. Huh? I said, on that show, everybody does it. But uh, Paige, she's having bad dreams, and I think Mac, her father, is becoming very suspicious of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, listen, I won't go into the whole detail, but make sure you watch it next week. Wait until next week when the Veal Parmesan twins come knocking at Abby's door. <laughs> That's going to be something. You watch. Good luck on your program. First time I've listened to it. Thank you. Thank you, love. Have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, see, that's the first time she's listened, so she got a little confused when she heard Mr. Sports. She thought yeah. it was Ron Harrison after his sex change. <laughs> and uh, actually, Ron Harrison is Arlene Ross. She's not aware of that. <laughs> after the change. All this confusion is understandable. Sure. Easy for you to say. <laughs> okay, it's almost 7.20, and I guess we might as well do it. And that vocal line is, uh, you know, I just can't relate to that. <laughs> I can't relate to it. I'm going to put, like, scotch tape over it so I don't have to look at it. 550-9490. It will take loads of calls today. And uh, you notice a lot of people have called and said, where's the music? <laughs> it's almost 7.20 on Zeta 4. Rough scene in Miami last night. A four-year-old boy who apparently thought a loaded thirty-eight caliber revolver was a toy shot and killed his four-year-old sister. This accident occurring when David Dallas and his sister Maggie were at the family-owned Dallas security firm. Metro-Dade police said the boy picked up the gun, shot his sister in the head. Maggie Dallas pronounced dead later at a Miami Children's Hospital. After spending more than two hours yesterday before a grand jury investigating the famous suitcase, Dade County Manager Sergio Pereira says he feels victimized by the man who sold him stolen goods because Pereira said he bought them in good faith. NFL strike has ended. Uh, However, it appears replacement players will again be used in this weekend's games. And once again, the U.S. has become a target in the Persian Gulf. No indication yet how it will respond to today's attack, this time the target a U.S. flag Kuwaiti tanker. And we have an accident northbound on I-95 this morning. This is near the 69th Street exit ramp, and that is backing up traffic to 112. Rough area. Yeah, you mm, don't want to mm. like to avoid that area. At all times. <laughs> Zeta forecast, partly sunny and breezy today. High will be about 85 and low tonight about 75. The good news is we have just a slight chance of rain now, and that's going to hold through the weekend. It's 71 degrees. It's 721 and a half on Zeta 4. And I'm Glenn Hill. Zeta 94.9 FM's contests and prizes are for the enjoyment of our listeners. Employees of Guy Gannett Broadcast Services and prize vendors are ineligible. Please limit your winning to once every 30 days. And keep listening to the home of rock and roll, Zeta 94.9. When some schlamiel tries to put me down and says he has a larger congregation, I tell him right away, now listen here, no Nick, ain't you heard of my show? It's number one in the nation. All in faith, give a dollar, put so be true to your show. Be 
Rogers continues to shoot the breeze on WINZ. On what station? Dade, call 624 <laughs> Did you hear that? In Broward, 524-9400. Don't bottle it up inside. Let it all out with Neil Rogers. Do you believe she said that? It's an accident. Didn't she say Zeta 4? Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. I thought she said Zeta 4, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. WZTA, I, I thought it was something like that. Yeah. Uh, there was a Z in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to keep playing it. I like that. 26 past 7 on Zeta 4, the Neil Rogers Show, a Friday morning. And uh, don't get hyper now. Just everybody relax. The uh, daylight is breaking out there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Sunrise. There's uh, Rick Edwards running around in circles over near the uh, towers. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's take some of the calls here because they're lit up like a Hanukkah bush. <laughs> Broward County, good morning. Hi, just good morning to you and the birds. Yes, and how are you? I'm just fine. How are you? You sound fine. We're fine. Oh, I'm very glad that we're all fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> Isn't that fine? <laughs> Yes, I have a question yes. about the sports guy. Yeah, Mr. Sports? Yeah, it sounds a lot to me like Brian Norcross on fast <laughs> Well, I didn't want to let it out of the bag, but he is a distant cousin, a kissing cousin. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, I bet you could. He's a real funky guy. Yeah. I had a radio accident this morning, my first ever. Really? What did you uh, stumble upon? Well, I was trying to fix breakfast and tune you in at the same time, and my husband told me to hurry up, and I got close to, it's a good time, and I had a quick tune over. Mm. Boy, that's not just an accident. It's frightening. Oh, it was. That's, a, that's like a major disaster. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a headline story. It's a so good time. So I told my husband he's going to have to fix his own breakfast in the morning. He's going to have accidents like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only fair. Yeah. It's and amazing, by the way, though. I went to the melting pot and i had a wonderful time in fact so much so now my husband wants me to go up and get pots of chocolate to go at night I yeah i don't, I don't blame him did you get the white chocolate or the uh, dark no we got the dark i gotta try the white the next time oh trust me i mean the dark is great but the yes. white chocolate with the amaretto is so good that uh, you'll forget your husband you'll just kick him out well, that's all right sometimes just take the chocolate home okay well, I really enjoyed it, and I saw Jamie bounding after you that night. You were up there. I thought you'd lost your wallet or something. He's a really frantic person. Yeah, he came flying out of there like a maniac. I saw that. I was he was just worried. acting natural, you know, like oh, a yeah. maniac. Uh-huh. I thought he worked there, and you forgot your wallet. It was something real important. That'll be my luck. Probably he'll uh, be working there next week. I'll go over there, and instead of getting Dave to wait on me, we'll wind up with Jamie as the waiter. <laughs> It'll be the first fondue veal parmesan in the history of mankind. <laughs> well, you have a wonderful weekend. You too. For the first time in a while. Okay. Yeah, isn't this exciting? It, it's just great. Now they don't have to listen to me bitch about working on Saturday right. anymore because I won't be here. Yeah, and I like it when we have our choice of records to play and not to play because you call them up on the FM, they won't play them anyway, so what's the difference? Yeah, that's right. They got their playlist right. and they pretend that they're playing something you wanted to hear, but if it wasn't on a list, they won't play it anyway. Yeah, they just say it to pacify you. You got it. Okay. Have a nice one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. She's so right. What's the difference anyway? Yeah, they're not going to play what you want. No. And if you happen to call in and request something that's on the list, then they record it and they put it on the air. <laughs> oh, look at this. Aren't we being nice? We're playing what you wanted to hear. It's a complete blind, dumb yeah. luck. And know? if it wasn't on a playlist, man, those consultants would drag them screaming <laughs> and kicking out of there so fast, you wouldn't believe it. It's 7.30, right on the nose here on Zeta 4. This show is flying this morning, isn't it? Like a big bird. <laughs> Just flying along. Let's go to Broward County. Good morning. Hey, how you doing, Neil? Good. What's up? Not much. It seems to me you got rid of those car phone idiots you used to get. Yeah, the mobile callers seem to, like, have disappeared. Yeah. You know why? Well, they're on the first thing in the morning now. Yeah, well, they're cheapskates, too. You know, it costs 35 <laughs> cents a minute starting from the ring. And, you know, very often we let them just keep ringing. So they're not going to call. They're cheap. They're calling them. They're cheap suits. Yeah. Hey, that is a good idea. Maybe we could get people to write, in, to write in with their mobile phone numbers. I we can them call them, yeah. And we could call them in the morning. And then what we really will do, we'll call them when they're not in the car. <laughs> When they got the car, like, parked and they run in somewhere and we'll let it ring and ring for, like, because you get charged when somebody calls you. Right. They'll, run, they'll start running out of wherever they are to run to answer them. <laughs> Do they get charged the same Yeah, we call them? Absolutely. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's, that's power. So whatever you do, don't give out my number. No in fact, way. I haven't given it to anybody yet. I know. Which is just the way I like it. Real calm and peaceful in the car. <laughs> What's the purpose of the phone? Yeah. Well, in case you need it, you know. Good question. <laughs> hey, your show's doing great now. Yeah, we're we're cooking there. We I think uh, yesterday we finally crossed the path. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. 
No, I think like yesterday we finally got our act together I, and huh? Oh, I lied. Yeah. Well, listen. What did you want to hear, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you think I'm another? Um... No, I'm just pulling your leg. Pulling your leg. Are you going to work? Not today. Lucky man. Oh, not today. Any special reason? Um, no. No, just uh, he just. In other words, do you work? Yeah, you work, but you're not going today, and uh, it right. sounds like there's something a little devious here that you don't want us to probe into, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like this. I think we've touched a raw <laughs> nerve on this call. Now, listen, we don't want to pry. <laughs> we don't want to get you in hot water. Where do you work? <laughs> okay, listen, enjoy your day. What are you doing, going out to Calder today? No, I don't know. Going out to the uh, Broward Mall to tend to troll? Yeah. Well, good luck to you, sir. Okay, thanks. And, well. and tell Stan I said hi. Okay. Okay, he'll be over there at the mall with you, I'm sure. It's 7.32, Mr. Sports is in the other room, gargling and getting ready to do his <laughs> thing. And in the meantime, let's go back to uh, Dade County. Hello. Good morning, Neil. This yes. is Walter. How you doing, Walter, you hi. stupid old fart? How are you? Hi, I want to talk to Glenn about his newscast. Okay, oh, Walter, good. here we go. Oh, Glenn, we have a problem here in New York. <laughs> <laughs> the grand jury was investigating the famous suitcase. What in the hell was a famous suitcase? <laughs> also said that Iraq was an ally of Kuwaiti. There's no such country as Kuwaiti, friend. There isn't? No, try, try Kuwait. Oh, okay. Kuwait. Kuwait, that's right. Thank you, Walter. And that's the way it is. Friday morning at 7.33. Okay, my senile old friend, have a wonderful weekend. You too, Neil. Goodbye. Thank you, and adios, and Dan Rather sends his best, too. <laughs> 7.33 on Zeta 4, and uh, we're going back to Dade County again. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Mobile. Mobile. What is it? What do you mean, oh, what? You, I got on the air? Yeah, you're on the air, sir. Isn't that what you wanted? Unbelievable. I know. <laughs> I heard you uh, ragging on all the mobile callers. Yeah, a bunch of suits, but you might be an exception, sir. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, first of all, although it doesn't start, uh, you don't start paying from the ring. When do you start paying? Oh, really? I didn't know that. We heard the other. Yeah. yeah. And secondly, re I really wanted to get your number, but you're not going to give it out, huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm going to give it on the air. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. idea. Yeah, brilliant idea. Well, where, where is Biff today? Biff is uh, no longer with the show. Biff is, uh, he'd be doing some other stuff, I guess. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Listen, I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, you remember the old uh, Fort Lauderdale soccer team? Oh, yeah. The Strikers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have any uh, connection with Jeff? As a matter of fact, yes. The team was named in his honor, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Cox did not like the connotation, and as a result, it's adios, arrivederci. I've got some old bumper stickers. Maybe I can send you some. They say striker liker. Oh, that those would be great. You have to read it carefully. Not spelled right, but they would be great. Yeah, you have to read it carefully. You don't want to get in any trouble. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> Peter Bolger, our program director, is a little confused about all this Jeff Stryker stuff. He uh, hasn't figured it out, so I guess we're going to have to paste some of our pictures up on his door today to uh, give you know, lead well, him in the right er, direction. Like I keep telling people, you have to listen for a while. You'll catch on to everything. Yeah, it's like a soap opera. I said, Peter, I don't have time to go back to the beginning and explain it all to you, you know? Oh, but hang in there, and it'll, it'll, it'll all make sense. We're hanging. Just, well, let me ask you another question. Yes, sir. Very quickly. I, I saw you on TV, you know, when, when Ann was doing her thing a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. Yes. And you, you had hair and everything. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, but I, I'm remembering back to the Tropic. The uh, Herald, yeah. The bald. Gene Weingarten said it was bald. Yeah, were you way back then? Well, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember being bald, but uh, may have been, it you know. It great on, on, the, on the TV. But I know. It, it just it didn't, like, fit with the old uh, Tropic thing. Right. Well, I'll work on it. Adios. Okay, not a bad caller for a mobile phone caller, you know. Right. 735 on Zeta 4. Good morning, everybody. In the National Hockey League last night, the Islanders shut out Philadelphia 6 to nothing. In overtime, the Rangers in Pittsburgh played to a 6-all tie, and the Boston Bruins beat Los Angeles 3-2. to Although the National Football League players ended their strike, one union leader says it's not a surrender, terming the move a ceasefire. Unable to negotiate a contract settlement, the union is taking the owners to court. The owners say the back-to-work order by union leader Gene Upshaw came too late to avoid a third straight weekend of scab games. Whitey Herzog's pitching choice for the opening game of the World Series is a surprise. He's picked rookie left-hander Joe McGrain over veteran Bob Forsh to pitch against Minnesota's Frank Viola in the first game of the series Saturday night. Cardinals also learned that third baseman Terry Pendleton will probably be lost for the series because of a ribcage injury suffered in the last game of the playoffs. 
Mike Tyson defends his heavyweight crown in Atlantic City, New Jersey tonight against 1984 Olympic gold medalist Tyrell Biggs. Tyson, a 9-1 favorite, is unbeaten in 31 fights with 27 knockouts. Biggs is 15-0 with 10 knockouts. And that's sports. 22 till 8, 7.38 in uh, Espanol. It's uh, <laughs> 7 y 38. Thank you. Or whatever. That's not, how, that's not how they do the time. 8 menos 22. So Dave said... Is that right? 8 menos 22? Yeah. 22 before 8? Well, no. Oh, come on. Give me, cut me a break, as Stan would say. Do you, do you know anybody who says that? Only Stan. Cut me a break. That's like one of those tragic, ancient lines. It's 50s, like, uh, yeah, yeah, like Stand By Me. Anyway, this hour, now we've got to play uh, <laughs> the roaches for that nice lady. She really, remember she called back yesterday? Yeah. And she said she's with us for life. And you said it's good. And after we played Married Men by the Roaches, which is cute, you know, it's, yeah. uh, we're going to play it sometime, maybe if not this hour, next hour for sure, because she said she <laughs> listens from 7 to 10. Okay. okay? And I don't right. want to disappoint her. It's here. It's like right in the uh, thing there. Yeah. Lights on But also everything. this hour, we've got Steppenwolf coming up, and uh, we are going to play it, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Come on. That, that's okay. uh, the greatest. Okay. Boca, good morning. Yeah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias to you, too, sir. This your show sounds great today. It really does. I know. That's because uh, we're loose and all that other good stuff. Real Actually, loose. The phone, the phone sounds fine. People have been calling and complaining about how they can't hear one on the phone. It sounds just as it did before. What do you mean? On the speakerphone? <laughs> no, on the telephone here. No, but in other words, when you're talking to us, you mean? Sure. Yeah. It doesn't sound bad. I think they expect it to be in stereo on their phone. Well, no, you see, the problem is, like, on the AM, we had this other system. When we didn't use the speakerphone, we used uh, a different system, and the all the microphones are, like, wired directly into it, so it sounds like a regular phone call. I see. <clears throat> as opposed to this, which sounds like we're in a barrel. Yeah, it sounds like a speakerphone, but it's not. Yeah, that. but the interesting thing of it is we are in a barrel. That's the good part. <laughs> it's real like radio. It's, uh, Lee Gillette is not with you guys anymore, right? No, Lee is uh, moving on to other things. I think that's probably the best. I think you get too many people in the room there. It just kind of muddles it all up. But I think for his... Uh, for his uh, demise, you ought to play the, uh, the James Brown, the Soul Patrol, in your keyhole thing for him. That might be a... Oh, yeah, James Brown security alarm. It's a problem. <laughs> also, um, on the telephone, the sports guy does sound like Brian Norcross. Yeah. Well, uh, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> weather here is beautiful. He's sort of like your Tony Segreto, I guess, in the morning. He comes in and does the, uh, does the sports for you, right? Yeah, a little more upbeat than Tony, but he's good. <laughs> Listen, there are a couple things. Um, that, that's the uh, bit about the six-year-old, Neil Rogers, that's going to be a classic. Yeah. I heard that this morning. That is just fantastic. Yeah, from Geneva. I didn't know they had that. I've been trying to hide that, but uh, they <laughs> dug it out. Just one more thing. I hate to ask for a request, but my girlfriend doesn't believe, you know, you play the Joy Reynolds uh, gong, you know, thing all the time, but uh, one day, it was last week, you played, I think you just played it once, was a Neil Rogers thing that was on the same uh, the same song. Oh, yeah. It was kind of a, it was, a, it was hilarious. I just laughed. I was in the car. It was, it was so well, I'll be honest with you. It's in the machine right as you speak. Fantastic. You guys are doing great. And Neil, have a great weekend. I'm sure you're looking forward to that two-day... Uh... You have you have no idea. Right. Appreciate the call. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you later. Okay, Bye. we'll call you again. Eat your heart out, Joey. Joey never got anything like that, did he? And uh, you see, the reason I haven't played that is because it makes references to the AM, and I'm trying to avoid that. But uh, as I listen to this stuff, it doesn't make any difference, no, does it? No, it doesn't matter. No. It still uh, has the same flavor. 17 before 8 at Zeta 4, and our next caller has probably been waiting for a lifetime in Dade County. Hello. Hello, Neil. Yes. I was 
first morning I've had off since you've made this change to Zeta Four, and I must say the stereo makes you sound more mellow, like a nice guy. You right. Know? <laughs> You're coming off real more mellow. Like a miracle, right? Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, are, are more young people tuning you in? Because I, I work in North Campus in Miami-Dade, and they seem to be telling me everything you say. Oh, yeah. You must be getting more younger group here. Yeah, now. everybody with an IQ of over six under the age of 35 in this market <laughs> listen to oh, this please, show. But I'm really telling you, it's something interesting to hear uh, the campus there actually discussing Neil Rogers instead of Power 96. Now, so what, we are making progress at the campus. <laughs> what, what campus is this? North Campus, Miami-Dade College. Miami-Dade. I wonder, what Dave Cohen, which campus he goes to. Did he say he goes to Miami-Dade? <laughs> That's at 113th Street. Oh, yeah. I bet you that's where he is right now. I hope so. But listen, Neil, keep up with the good work. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. And uh, everybody in the listening audience, keep your hands off our property, okay? <laughs> now, he's a good guy. He has a good sense of humor, and he came in. He spent a little time on the show in Lee's lap yesterday, which is why Lee is not here today anymore. <laughs> but, uh, you know, these FM people, man, they're uptight and unfriendly. You know what I mean? Like me at the track. They are uptight <laughs> and unfriendly. Speaking of the carpeting crew, here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that them? Looks like they're they're. A I would truck. Rec- I would recognize that raft anywhere, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> the license plates were hanging off the back, you know. Oh boy, that's uh, part of the crew. Although I didn't see somebody in that truck, so I, if I start Are getting nervous in a little while, Are I may not. The show on? may not be able to continue. Well, you must confess now, all right? I mean, and I feel more comfortable because Lee was getting very upset and uptight and unfriendly. But you got to admit, now, this was an extraordinary young man we had in here the other day, wasn't he? If you say so. I mean, even Stan admitted to me that he was an extraordinary young man. Of course, Stan, we don't know what the hell's <laughs> going on there, you know? We, we're not really sure. And uh, look at that. Look like Don Johnson getting out of the truck, too. That, it looks just like that Don. Is, that's Don, isn't it? Okay, no call up ABC <laughs> and CBS and AP and UPI. Get him in here immediately, if not sooner. 550... <laughs> 9490 is our number if you'd like to. And that's toll free for anybody. Anybody who can hear us, 550-9490. And if you get some kind of a recording, that means you shouldn't be calling us in the first place, that's right? correct, yes. Okay, line two is next in Dade County. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Great. Can I make a suggestion regarding the music? Oh, of course. Anything you like. Okay. I noticed that during the past week, you conspicuously left out America's greatest rock and roll band. Any guesses? Neil, this is one of your favorite groups. I'm waiting. Beach Boys. No, we haven't. Didn't we play Sloop John B. the other day? No. I don't believe so. Well, we left it out. I think we left it out. It was yeah. We were going to play it. We didn't have time. Okay. Either Good Vibrations or Surfer Girl would probably be in order. Okay. Okay. The second thing is this. <laughs> um, did Carlos ever do it? Carlos, the label maker. You kept warning him not to do it. Did he ever? Carlos. No, I, I, we haven't heard from Carlos, so I wouldn't town. want to speak for him. Okay, left town? and lastly, Remember? that car commercial. Yeah. That gentleman certainly keeps his levels up, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he sure does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to let you know I'm enjoying it. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice weekend. You too. Okay, okay. five billion dollars! <laughs> 14 before 8 here on Zeta 4. And look at this. They're starting to roll in. Who the hell is that? Look at that. Uh, program Shlemy director. Lynette. Oh, that's a program director, like <laughs> I said. Look at that wonderful man who just drove in here. Look at him with a smile on his face. And he's taking little notes. He's writing down the time. You ripped me at 746, <laughs> and uh, you ripped me at 12 past 7. See, it's a good thing about him. He's only got an AM radio in there anyway. So don't uh, don't worry about it. See, he can't, look at it. He can't get out of the car. As long as we keep talking about him, he will not leave the car, Do right? Do you blame him? Well, if I looked like that, I'd never get out of the car either. Just a joke, Pete. Just a joke. Did he get out? <laughs> no. He's, st- <laughs> he's not going to get out. Oh. He's still in there. He's taking little notes. Well, he's putting together his dream team for Linda Thornton. <laughs> and by now, I would think Linda would be up, wouldn't you? Yeah. Now, Linda, okay, so you woke me up two days in a row. No problem. I don't feel bad. You have no way of knowing when I'm taking a nap. But that's not what bothers me. What bothers me is you don't understand. It's a dumb question. Nobody cares about your question about the dream lineup. You know, they all want to be program directors, but they don't have dream lineups. No. They have some nightmares, but no dreams. <laughs> By the way, look at that. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, and Peter is still in the car. He still won't get out of the car. Okay, he won't get out till we take another call, so we better do it. Um, who is this? Oh, this, this is our first time tunnel. Oh, okay, he won't get out till we take another call. On the FM, this is our first time tunnel on Zeta 4. How does it sound in stereo? One, two, 
Uh, okay, a little too uh, hairy to leave that on forever, right? But I liked it. Yeah, the stereo time tunnel. You won't, yes. you won't hear that on Joy 107. <laughs> I'll tell you that, ladies and gentlemen. No chance. <laughs> no changes. Broward, hello. Hi, is this the Lee Gillette and Friend Show? Yeah. How you doing? Is Great. Neil Rogers there? No, he uh, is not on the show anymore, sir. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Could you give him a message, please? Okay. Neil, this is Joe Knuckles. It's a good time for a great motivational tape. Oh, by the way, they haven't still haven't been able to motivate anybody to listen to that station. Have you noticed? <laughs> well, I did notice that, unfortunately, but our ratings are getting better. Yeah. What is it, about a point two now? Well, pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> We're feeling really good about that, and I'm listening to a tape in my other ear right now. I'm and feeling really good. That's really incredible, especially since the Neil Rogers factor is no longer on the AM dial, right? Thank God for that. Yeah, you can say that again. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Make it up to a point three. Okay, well, good luck to you, sir. Okay, and uh, uh, we have a motivational change for your I-95 song. Yes, sir. Could you change the words to Apple? It's healthy for you, and you'll feel much better. <laughs> Oh, okay. Boy. He sounds almost as good as Bruce Williams, hey, doesn't we'll he? we'll sure take care of that okay. for you. <laughs> it's uh, 11 before 8 here on Zeta 4. The news is coming up almost mo almost instantaneously I as we speak. I can't believe it. And uh, we'll hear about uh, that wonderful uh, country of Kuwaiti, <laughs> where they wear their asbestos shoes. Is he still in the car out there? You bet. What the hell is he doing in the car? I think he's going to be there till 10. Look at that. He's smoking the steering wheel. I can't believe it. It's not that bad. You know, don't fall apart. He's coming apart at the pieces. <laughs> well, look at that. You remember uh, Rear Window? Uh -huh. Where he had the uh, suitcase in the trunk? Right. And uh, I don't know if one of the consultants is in there, but boy, it sure looks familiar. <laughs> All right. It's 7.50 now on Zeta 4. Latest word this morning from Midland, Texas. As rescuers are getting closer to pulling that 18-month-old toddler out of the abandoned well. Officials say the rescuers tunneling through rock so hard that it dulled diamond-tipped drills today broke a two-inch hole in the well shaft where the youngster is trapped 22 feet below ground. The Pentagon hints it knows but won't yet release the source of today's attack on a U.S. flag Kuwaiti tanker in the Persian Gulf. But a spokesman says there are reports that an aircraft was in the area of the attack at the time. The commander, speaking in Washington, declined to give further details on the report. And a third quarter report released by the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles says that Broward, Pinellas, and Palm Beach counties are the fastest growing counties in Florida. And what about this $46 million Pennsylvania lottery win? Yeah, what about it? Well, I'm so glad you asked. You get $1.4 million a year for 26 years. And yeah, that's but I, I keep working, Texas. though. I you keep would. coming to work. I love it so much. <laughs> well, you got to have the winning numbers. No one has claimed the $46 million prize. It's the largest in U.S. history. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, if it isn't claimed within a year, it will go into a fund uh, for safe programs. Now, probably if I won that, I would take a plane trip to Portland, Maine, and I would take two things with me. One of them would be my winning lottery check, and the other one would be a broom handle. <laughs> okay, does that say it all? I think it's okay. uh, very clear Good. there. Okay, the Zeta forecast. <laughs> partly sunny. No, okay. Partly sunny, breezy Sound today. Sound like Mr. Sports doing the weather there, didn't it? I-85, <laughs> low 75, we have just a slight chance of rain. 71 degrees at 752 on Zeta. I'm Glenn Hill. 7.55 on Zeta 4, and you've got uh, another little goodie for us, Couple, another piece of uh, great news. Wonderful traffic. Uh, southbound Turnpike near the stadium, construction to the toll plaza, and that is slowing down traffic real bad, it says. And at 27th Avenue and Northwest 207th Street, the Lake Lucerne area, there's a shooting, and it's <laughs> Dave, uh, Captain Dave wrote lots of cops hmm. in the area, so you probably don't want to go over there. Are they doing the shooting? I don't just could be. Hey, listen, in uh, Dade County, you never know. You don't miss the traffic. You never know. And of course, that's for the lady in Boca who wants us to reinforce her uh, paranoia. <laughs> okay, now I know it's coming as a great shock to you, and in the next hour, we will hear the roaches. Okay, for that lady, All I'm right. promising. Okay. Why, why do you look like uh, you well, don't want to hear I the roaches? My, it's not that. I just have my doubts. That what? We are we're going to play it? Yeah. Trust me. But okay. this hour, we're going to do something good because the PD is here. Roger O'Neill. Hey, Roger O'Neill. How you doing? Yeah. Love your show. What are you, he's on his own speaker phone. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get on the phone so we can hear you? Okay. Oh, boy, this is a good... I told you, these vocal <laughs> calls are my favorites. <laughs> this is what radio's all about. Come on, Roger. Hello? Hello? Yeah. 
You sounded better in the barrel. Oh. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> I heard you were making fun of my show. Yeah, we were making fun of your show. That Joey Reynolds is almost better than you are, you know it? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 13. 13. Now, you're not the guy that called us the other day, are you? No. Okay, good, because you sound like uh, you've lost a couple of years <laughs> or lost something. I'm not sure what. Well, listen, have a wonderful life, but I'm not going to press my luck with that <laughs> no, call, you know what I mean? No. Uh, Dade County, hello. Morning, Neil. How are you? How you doing, Bird? Great. We're all doing great, sir. Uh, Neil, uh, there's a song I haven't noticed you play. I've listened to you all week. And what uh, that be? ELO's telephone line. I thought you said you liked that song. I do. I love it. Do we have ELO in the other room by any chance? Yeah, oh, we'll play, yeah, we we'll have play. it. Oh, but we got no time by no, the guess who? It hadn't no, come don't up. say no. Who the hell? <laughs> Get his mic off, will you, please? It hasn't come up. This is not like No Repeat Friday or something. This is Aloha Friday, which uh, we were going to talk about, but nobody has been able to figure out yet what the hell that means. Uh, Captain, Dave, <laughs> Captain Dave and I were discussing. Yeah, let's go for ELO and telephone line. Yeah, uh, this hour, and then we'll push the who up to next hour. What does that mean we uh, leave out? Oh, yeah, Bob Seger. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Ram well, no, I like that rambling, gambling man, yeah. especially the gambling part. Okay, just for you, sir, this hour. Neil, one more thing. Yeah. I was in Bob Rich the other night looking for uh, Angel Heart. You were with Bob Rich? No, I was in Bob Rich's video store. Oh, yeah. I was looking for Angel Heart, and I couldn't find it. Every time I go in there, they don't have it. Yeah. Now. But I seen a movie, and you kept talking about it, and I got it. And that movie was great, The Hitcher. Oh, yeah, of course. That was a good movie. Classic. That was good. With P. Thomas Howell. It was good. <laughs> what a great second choice. Yeah, and yeah. Rutger Howard. Well, I, you kept talking about it, and I figured I'm going to try it. I don't. I wasn't sure what it was about, but yeah. uh, it was good. It'll keep you right on the edge of your seat. I mean, right. I, are you saying you're still not sure what it was about, even after you saw it? Oh, no, I know what it's about. Yeah, it was a good movie. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know what it was when I picked it up. I, I see. didn't know how bizarre it was going to be. I'm still waiting to see Blue Velvet. All right, now, you remember the scene where uh, Tom Howell is sitting there with a the waiting for the coffee? And Rutger Hauer comes in and puts the pennies on his eyelids, and Tom Howell says, why are you doing this to me? And he says, think about it. <laughs> no, I didn't get that part. Well, think about it. All right. That's the message. You sound a little wide this morning, Neil. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Arriba there. All right. 143. It's 8.03 on Zeta 4. Sun is shining, blue skies, beautiful day, in spite of whatever he tells you during the weather. It looks magnificent. <laughs> it we does. Got e we got ELO. No, not right now. No, see, I like to do that to him because he just, he just freaks out. He just goes crazy. No, later on. We'll play a little later on. But I just uh, wanted to make sure everything's under control. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's okay. fine. <laughs> Let's go to Broward County. Hello. Neil. Yeah. How are you doing? Welcome to FM. Thank you so much, sir. Well, it's nice because I have FM all over my house. I only had AM in one little radio and I had to carry it from place to place. Yeah, that AM is a real pain, you know? Uh, do you remember Ernest Angsley? Sure. He'll say baby, yeah, I used baby. Baby. Uh, Super Tramp, back breakfast in America every Sunday morning while he'd hit people in the head. Oh yeah, that ought to do it for you. Yeah. That was that. That was my uh, that was my lineup on Sunday mornings. I know mm -hmm. you're not talking about that today, but we ought to play Goodbye Stranger by Super Tramp too, huh? Yeah. We got so much music we got to play now. I guess this is the last call. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. No, I'm just a joke. All right. Well, listen. I just wanted to say good morning, and it's, it's nice that I could talk to you because. Usually I'm in the car or flying when you're on. Well, you can call us from your mobile phone anytime you I'm want. I'm not rich enough to have a mobile phone. You don't? Oh, sorry. Well, I think that, they're a waste. That speaks well for you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> it's a matter of fact. Yeah. I, I do carry a beeper, though. That's what really stinks. You carry oh, a beaver? Boy. Beeper. Oh, beeper. Okay. <laughs> Hi, okay, have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I wasn't sure what he was talking yeah. about. You know, this is a family show. Look at this. 8.05. Just flying by. And the weather is coming up. Okay. Almost as we speak. We're, everything is like on time, and uh, things are happening, and uh, boy, oh boy, this oh boy. This can't continue, can I it? know. Wait till Monday. We'll screw everything up Monday. Zeta forecast, it's beautiful outside. Partly sunny, a little breezy today. High will be about 85. Yeah. Low tonight, 75. And, and more good news is we have just a slight chance of rain, and that is through the entire weekend. Oh, boy. You betcha. 72 degrees. Isn't it great to be alive? It's 8.06 on Zeta 4. I'm Glenn Hill. Hey, young man. Yeah. Uh, listen, I've seen you hanging around my house and yeah, I. There's something I want to talk to you about. What is it, Mr. Bates? Listen here now. Yeah. I'm going to put it this way. Yeah. 
Wasn't you who did the pushing? Put the stains upon the cushion. Footprints on the dashboard upside down. Hey, what? Wasn't you, you Bronco Bill, been messing with my daughter Jill? If it was, you'd better leave this town. Well, what do you gotta say? Uh, yes, twas I who did the pushing. Put the stains upon the cushion. Footprints on the dashboard upside down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But since I'm messing with your daughter, I've had trouble passing water, so I. I guess we're even all around. Why you? <laughs> Come over here. Eight minutes after eight on Zeta 4, Friday morning, and I think we'll take one call before we do the roaches, okay? Because i got to play that. I feel so guilty if I don't get that in for that wonderful, lovely, loyal, whatever she was. Dade County, good morning. Hey, Neil, good morning. How you doing? Pretty good. I haven't been listening. I just got up. I was wondering, what's your hot topic? What's the topic? It's a hot topic. Well, the hot topic today is your dream lineup if you had your own oh, no, radio not station. Again. No, actually, you didn't hear the background behind it. Linda doesn't know how to take no for an answer, okay? So uh, we're just trying to you humor want more? her. more? She doesn't understand. It's a stiff topic, okay? Unbelievable. Linda just doesn't understand a stiff when she sees one. What about that pain-in-the-ass woman that called up that didn't like your show and didn't like New York? Has she been bothering you? Oh, I wish she would call back. She was about my third favorite call of the week. She was definitely in the top five. She doesn't understand that life is empty and meaningless, and so is your show. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got it. So it, fit, it fits perfectly with her, right? Right. Well, I've got you on tape, so I'll listen to it tonight, and I'll uh, listen to the rest now. Okay. Have a great life. You have a great day. Thank you so much. Arriva there. <laughs> oh, boy. These people are it was so nice, you know? But this is this is like the honeymoon week, the first week, and the, we're on the next week the when honeymoon. we start calling everybody douchebags and really getting into it with these people, and it'll be a different story. He is so nasty and hostile, and it's disgusting. <laughs> stereo, no less. It's disgusting. <laughs> and that's when we we'll really start cooking, right? <laughs> yeah. By the way, we want to just make one comment. We love the consultants, and we want to let them know that because uh, <laughs> for some bizarre reason, they love the show already, you know, and uh, just leave us alone, and it'll be okay. The first, the first time they say anything, like even hello, it'll be over, right? Mm. We're not sensitive or anything, but enough is enough. Boy. You have something there? Well, you know, the traffic today, it's not like traffic. It's like a police report today. Yeah, well, this is like a police state, okay? Yeah, uh, Your local Gestapo <laughs> is watching you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now they have a car chase going on. It's around Northwest 2nd uh, up to 44th Street, it says. Great. And, uh, yeah, it's not like traffic. It's... That's another good part of town, too, right? Okay, <laughs> 10 minutes after 8. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the moment we've promised. I've promised, okay? And in spite of all your skepticism... <laughs> That wonderful, lovely, loyal listener. Isn't that what we're into on Zeta? Loyal <laughs> listeners is going to get her wish. And, of course, Peter is very happy that we're appealing to the loyal <laughs> listeners. He's not going to be so happy that we're playing obscure music. But So what else is new on Zeta, right? 